Stratolaunch's rock set to launch Talon A on first hypersonic flight. In Middle Eastern mythology, the rock is a large bird, strong enough to carry an elephant in its talons. Stratolaunch's massive rock aircraft, named after the griffin-like creature, can carry as much as 500,000 pounds of payload, the equivalent of more than 33 large elephants. With a wingspan that stretches 385 feet, it's the widest airplane in operation, and it takes up an entire hangar at the company's manufacturing and test facilities at the Mojave Air and Spaceport in California. You actually have to get the aircraft out of the hangar to see the whole airplane, Stratolaunch's senior vice president for engineering Aaron Casabir told C4ISRNET in an interview during a recent visit to the site. Stratolaunch's early vision for ROC was as a space launch platform. The aircraft, comprised of two Boeing 747 fuselages, would fly small rockets to high altitudes where they would then lift off into orbit. In 2019, the company changed course, refocusing its sights on a new mission, hypersonic flight testing. The company is now preparing ROC to carry its Talon a hypersonic test aircraft for its first hypersonic, or Mach 5, flight, potentially before the end of the year. While Talon A will descend into the ocean following that first flight, the company is eyeing a second mission in early 2024 during which the system will reach hypersonic speeds and land on a runway. The implications of a successful Talon A test campaign are significant for the Defense Department's hypersonic efforts, which are focused on developing and fielding high-speed weapons and defending against similar systems that China and Russia are building. To get there, DOD is working to increase its testing rigor, setting a goal in 2022 to eventually conduct one flight each week. Today, most major hypersonic programs fly just a few trials each year. A system like Talon A could provide the department with a reusable, more affordable platform to test and validate high-speed components, subsystems and other technologies, according to Stratolaunch CEO Zachary Crever really demonstrate that your critical technologies, your instrumentation, your materials are actually working in the flight environment. You have to go fly, he told C4ISRNET in a December 2nd interview. The significance of us in our first flight is really demonstrating that now there's an affordable hypersonic capability coming online that's going to generate a tremendous amount of new flight data that could be used all across the DoD community.